Greetings everyone, Phil here from the Nintendo Village, back with another Animal Crossing design video for you all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put together this sweet football pitch. I'm going to give you all of the designs you need to do it, and I will walk you through putting it together step by step. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all of our weekly uploads. And so, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is find a space for your pitch. For the pitch itself, you're going to need an area that is 9 squares high and 17 squares across. You're also going to need a couple of extra squares for the goal seats and so on. You are also going to need 30 slots for all of the designs involved. Now don't worry, you don't need to design them yourself. I've uploaded them all, so just use my creator code down there in the corner to find them all and I'll put it in the description for you as well. Okay, so once you've downloaded all of those designs and you've got your space marked out, the best place to start, I find, is from the halfway line. So drop the top centre part at the top of your pitch and then drop two halfway line squares as well. Once you've done that, now you're going to move on to the centre circle. Now, I find it easy to lay out the centre circle in my designs like this to make it easy to find everything. Drop the halfway line centre circle top, followed by the centre spot. And then below that, you want to drop in the bottom part of the centre circle. Below that, you're going to want another two halfway line pieces. And follow that up with the bottom centre piece. Okay, so we've got our halfway line now. So now we just need to finish off the centre circle. Head to the top right part of it. Drop in the centre circle top right. And then you can just follow that up with the centre circle middle part on the right. And the centre circle bottom right part. Jump over to the left hand side. Drop in the centre circle bottom left. The centre circle centre left. And then we finish that off with the centre circle top left. And that gives us our centre circle and our halfway line. It's looking pretty good already, right? Head down to the touchline. And we're now going to have seven of the bottom line pieces. This is quite simple. You can, of course, do this using the paths tool. But I find it's actually quicker to use the just place on the ground because you can place two in quick succession like that. It always places the second one, one square in front of where you're stood. So once you've dropped seven of those from the halfway line, head up to the top and do the same again along the top touchline. This makes for a really cool centerpiece or like a unique part of your island, I find. It was one of the first things I decided to design when I saw the uh, Animal Crossing trailer and saw the soccer goals and the soccer balls in there and I thought, yeah, I'm definitely building a football pitch for my island. Once you've done seven of them, we have almost the first half of the pitch. Okay, so to do the goal line, I find it's best to walk across from the centre circle until you're level with the touch line and then drop in a left goal line. Now you'll notice this is kind of off centre and there's a reason for that, which I'll explain shortly. Once you've dropped that first one, the next thing you need to do is drop two of the left goal line bottom corners. Once you've done that, the next two slots are one left goal line and then a left goal line bottom corner to join it up with the touch line. And then basically you just do the same thing at the top. So you're gonna want two of the left goal line top corners. And then above that, you're going to want one left goal line and one left goal line top corner. And that joins it up with the touch line. See, it's looking pretty cool, right? Now, the reason that that centre line is slightly off centre is because if I get the soccer goal out here and push it back level, you'll see now that the posts are in line with the goal line. If that goal line wasn't slightly off centre, 
Then everything looks kind of out of whack and the goal line's either in front or behind the goal and it looks a bit rubbish. So now that we've done that, we need to finish putting together our penalty area. To do that, we need to drop a bottom line here and then another one in front of it to join those lines up. And then on the outside, so on the 12 yard box, we want to drop another bottom line. So it's two bottom lines across. Same again up at the top. We want a top line for the six yard box and then two top lines for the 12 yard box. Finishing off the six yard box. First off here, we want, now for some reason, I don't know why I've named this this, but I've called it right grid, don't know why. But you want one of those, then you want the left penalty spot, and then you want another right grid And then that finishes off the six yard area and the penalty spot. To finish off the 12 yard box, you're gonna want another right grid at the bottom and a right grid at the top. And now we just want to finish off with the left area. So obviously left area top first, left area center below that, and then the left area bottom. And there you go. That is the first half of the pitch, all sorted. And then all you need to do really to finish off the pitch is just repeat that process on the right using the relevant parts and you will have finished your football pitch. It's fairly straightforward. If you want to take it to the next level, you can add in these benches like this to make it like a little stadium. Now, if you're going to do this the same as me, you're going to need nine across the bottom and eight across the top. You order these from the Nookstop terminal within Resident Services. And this is also the same place that you get the soccer goals. You'll obviously need two of those. They cost 4,000 miles a piece. Now, bear in mind that you can only order five things from the Nook Miles terminal each day. So it might take you a few days to do this. The benches themselves cost 2,000 Nook Miles and they come in different colors. The colors on my island were orange and green. And that's why my strip and everything around my club has adopted those colors. Sort of tie it all in nicely. So for example, the little ticket booth on the way into my ground is orange and green. I've also customized a magazine on there to make it look like a match day program that also has those colors. Obviously, you can also see that I've got home and away strips that use those colors. And that trophy cabinet was a custom recipe I found as well. I also found it's pretty cool if you hang up the strips within the Able Sisters shop, you'll occasionally find that your villagers will wear them as well. And so that makes it feel like there's actually a local team that all of your islanders will support. And that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. Do be sure to let us know down in the comments if you're going to put together your own football stadium. And let us know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's tons more stuff here on Nintendo Village for you to enjoy, including more Animal Crossing design ideas. And be sure to check out the nintendovillage.com for news, reviews, features, podcasts, and all that cool stuff. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you all next time.